So the kidney has a classic kidney bean shape to it. This indentation point that we see on the medial side is what we call the hilum. Entering at the hilum, we have the renal artery. Exiting at the hilum is where we have the renal vein and the ureter, which is going to be carrying urine. Oxygenated, unfiltered blood goes in. Deoxygenated, filtered blood comes out. If we look at the, the sectional view of this, we see the, the renal capsule on the outer layer here. The outer third of the tissue is what we call the cortex. The inner two-thirds is what we consider the medulla. Within the medulla, we have renal pyramids. That's what you're seeing here. On average, adults have between 6 and 18 renal pyramids. You can see that this cortex tissue heads inward as the renal columns. So the renal columns are what sit in between each of the pyramids. You'll notice that the base of each of pyramid is lined up towards the cortex, and the apex of the pyramid, which is what we call the papilla, is basically aimed toward the midline, because this is where all of the collecting ducts come together, convene, and release urine into this structure here. This is a minor calyx, another minor calyx, another minor calyx. Minor calyces come together and form a major calyx. We see it again here. Minor calyx, minor calyx, major calyx, minor, 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 eventually becoming a major calyx. When the major calyces come together, they release that urine, or that urine moves in towards the renal pelvis, and then eventually out the ureter.